right, everybody. I, I'll tell you, I, it's been a long time since we've been able to put together a deal like this. You know, we've had our smokeless grills, but they're usually $150 to $200. Today, we're doing it as a today special for in, incredible price of under $80. It comes to us from Kitchen HQ. That's our kitchen headquarters. It's uh, only here at HSN. It's our own proprietary brand uh, that we uh, use, utilize with some of our appliances, and we absolutely love it. They do a phenomenal job to create wonderful products for our kitchens and around the house, and they do it uh, at a great price as well for us here at HSN. So if you love to cook, and I'm talking about whether you like to grill or whether you like to griddle. What's so nice about this unit, it does both. You actually have two separate cooking surfaces that this comes with. It comes with the slotted griddle, uh, grill surface, so you can do, you know, your burgers and your dogs and your steaks and your seafood and stuff like that. But then when you want to do stuff like pancakes or you want to do stuff that, uh, scrambled eggs, omelets, that involves a flat top griddle, you also get that. Best of all, this has a built-in uh, suction fan, so it removes a good deal of the smoke, so you're not gonna have a house filled with smoke. Now, $79.99 is $20 off our regular price. It is free shipping and handling today to anybody that buys it. It's on flex pay for only $20 you can get this home. If you use your HSN credit card today, and it's the first time, you'll get $20 off making that $59.99. And you'll also get the extra flex right there, so it's only $16 to get it home. I will tell you, you know I spent 20 years in the restaurant business, and I've gone through saute pan after saute pan, and don't get me wrong, love cooking that way, but when you have a, a setup like this, you rarely and barely ever have to use your stove. You can cook virtually anything you want right here. They're either on the griddle top for things like breakfast and stuff like that, or even fish, won't fall through the cracks or you can also use uh, the griddle attachment, which uh, comes with it as well. All exclusive from HSN. I'm gonna walk over and say hi to Miss Kelly. Oh my goodness. Hi Miss Kelly D. Are you gonna love this or what? You're oh such God, a you grill know, guy. Well, I am a huge grill guy, yes. but I will tell you this, when it's just me and Dan, I'm yep. not gonna set up a whole grill. Well, and most people and, don't. And then heat up the charcoal and deal with all that stuff. Or then the I gotta, propane. Then I gotta wait, you know, gotta wait an hour before you can cook. That is my biggest pet peeve with grilling oh, yeah. or smoking. It takes too long, right? So no longer do you have to deal with the messy charcoal or, you know, oh my goodness, I wanted to do steaks, but my propane tank is empty. This is our kitchen. HQ, which is our brand that's exclusive to HSN. This is our smokeless grill. And when we talk about smokeless, right now, do you see any smoke? You're cooking three full-size steaks. This is the griddle plate. You're getting the, or this is the grill plate. You're getting the griddle plate, but no smoke because it's our double action fan with that SERP, I call it super turbo technology. It's actually vacuuming the smoke. I'm gonna actually turn it off so that here shortly, it'll build up a little smoke and you'll be able to see all of that smoke, which is not just smoke, by the way, it's odors, which I think is more important to get rid of indoors and then when I hit that fan it'll just suction all of that smoke all those odors from maybe the salmon maybe it's yeah. the Brussels sprouts maybe yeah. it's the bacon it's going to suction it through uh, into underneath our water plate and get rid of it it's, which I think is this is a true smokeless grill look at how much you have on there is three, as well. three giant and you could probably get five steaks on oh, there easily if, if, we, if we remove the veg and yeah. somebody like Guy would remove the veg and add an extra steak sure, wouldn't you sure, sure. all right we got to go next door though okay. I want to show you that smoke technology okay. because it is a turbo speed fan so if you've ever tried an indoor grill and you've been a little bit turned off right that's not going to happen with the kitchen hq so we have precise led temperature control goes from 180 degrees all the way up to 460 so you can see just right here and that's hot we're at 460 yeah. degrees my friend so we are going all the way up and then i'm just going to take a little bit of red wine just to show you the smoke. We're gonna let that create a little bit of smoke. Okay, ready? Here's that super fan. Completely eliminates oh, the smoke. Oh, what? Isn't that crazy? So this is that true experience where it eliminates almost all of the smoke. Turn it off again. Yeah, I'm gonna Watch turn it this. off. And then you see as it starts to burn up, yep. there, there, we're using you as our background there. No worries. So. All right, ready? Right. There's that fan on both sides, pulling in the smoke, pulling in That's the odors. You can yeah. now do bacon indoors, Brussels sprouts indoors, salmon, yeah. catfish, any of those things that have all the odors, you can grill them indoors. Okay, ready? We'll so do it one more time. Smoke. Watch. 
Oh, that's, it's cool. That is really, really and cool. And this is the yeah. reason that you want this. This is not one of those things where it's like, do I kind of want it? It's like, once you get it home, you need it. Yeah. Well, because you can now get that char grill flavor, that outdoor cooked flavor yeah. inside. And, and you know, a lot of things that you like to grill are, you know, are, are going to be smoky. They're yep. going to have fat and they're going to have juice and they're going to trickle down and that's going to get to the element. It's going to create a lot of smoke. Yep. What's so nice about having this is your house is not going to fill up with smoke. So whether you're cooking steaks or burgers or hot dogs or bacon or whatever it is, Yep. You're going to help to eliminate that, that smoke and a lot of that odor, which a lot of people drive them nuts when their house smells for it three does. days. It does. And I got to tell you, grilling any season, winter, spring, summer, fall, no matter what state you live in, yeah. is amazing, you know, because we love that char grill flavor. You can see what's happening on that animation. It's that superheated turbo fan pulling in the smoke. But more importantly, it's a great grill. So even if it didn't have that smokeless feature, you'd love it as an indoor grill. Comes with the glass lid, which prevents splatter. Right. Here's really cool feature about the glass lid stands upright oh, nice so you don't Isn't have that, that great so the condensation's not going all over the i mean place. i've never i don't know why more you know folks don't do that but that's it's what really we're talking smart. about the innovation with kitchen hq right so that's going to stand upright mm -hmm. it's also going to prevent any splatter from bacon or steaks or chicken but look at the results that you get indoors i mean you're talking the char grill marks no charcoal was harmed in the making of these steaks, right? You don't yeah. have to worry about the charcoal. But look at the color and look, look, at the, the, color. look at the char marks on there. You get that. It comes from the heat. It comes from the heat. Yeah. It comes, and then that's the flavor. I mean, yeah. that's where all the flavor comes from. Well, the, the only difference between this and a, and a barbecue grill is rather than a flame underneath you have that, that is charring element. the food, you have an element. It's yep. the same thing. It's still hot and it burns. And when you when you burn uh, juices or whatever, it creates that, that flavor that comes back up through the grate. But in this case, the flavor goes through the meat and then it gets sucked into the fan or that the smoke does smoke which is does, so yeah. great and i'll take it apart and show you there's a little water reservoir at the bottom and that's what pulls in that smoke and dissipates it so it's a really cool technology that you probably haven't tried before so again if you are turned off by the quote unquote smokeless grill situation that you've tried in the past try it again because yeah. this one truly does eliminate almost all of the smoke right all yeah. of those odors and then it has that led control so let's pop on our chicken breast mm -hmm. what i like is that it gets hot enough to be able to sear and see that's another problem that you have is the power now this is 1500 watts most of the smokeless grills you see on the market are going to be in the 1200 watt range now that may not sound like a big difference it's a huge it's difference. a huge trust difference. me I, I grew up in a restaurant business for, for almost 20 years and I know the difference between 1200 and 1500 watts it's huge it's it's like the difference between a 350 watt uh, blender and a five or six or 700 watt blender yeah. it's, it is all it makes all the difference because it heats up to 460 not 425 and when you're searing meat yeah, you gotta you have that need high to get that heat you're not gonna get grill marks if it only goes up to 400 or 400. And you're not going to get those flavors. You know, that yeah. bark, that crust that we right. talk about. Yeah. All right, so you saw me. What I just did there was I used our spray herbs, which these are available at hsn.com. Yeah, we might put the information up But for guess that. what? No flare ups. You would never take your spray herbs to an outdoor grill, you know, that had an open flame. Not without some kind of a Not without a little hazmat, <laughs> hazmat yeah. situation. Yes. I can do this because there's no flare ups. I think that's really important because now you have better flavors, right? Whether it's just yeah. flavored olive and, oil or spray and herbs. By the way, these things they're amazing. are freaking awesome. It's it's called Simply Beyond, and these are spray herbs. Uh, they come in a variety. We'll put the item number up for you. I, listen, I'm, I'm a purist and all across the board with all the freshness, all stuff. That's what this is. This is fresh herbs that you can spray on. You get flavor without a lot of fat and calories. Exactly. It yeah. has two ingredients, the essential oil of the herb. That's it. And, um, and the herb itself. So, so. so we're, we're giving you more than one grill plate. So this, this is, is your a griddle, griddle plate. plate. So you know those cowboy pancakes where you, where you go to the, like the, the breakfast restaurant and you're like, I want their pancakes. You now have a griddle just like they do, right? At the pancake restaurant or at the breakfast restaurant. Look at that. And look at our Those French toast. These are ready. They're delicious. Yeah. Oh. This is coming Kat, you to did you nice job included. Over here. I made these. I thought just kidding, Kat. Kat made them. <laughs> yeah, I know who's I know who's all right, so the show I, around She's here. been here all night, poor thing needs a <laughs> needs a break. But look at our sausages. Perfectly cooked. Everybody now gets to eat together, guy, yeah, because I it's know. a large enough surface that you get some yeah. sausage, you get a slice of French toast, and you get an egg sunny side up. I get the same. And I'm not standing over a nine inch frying pan making a single omelet, then making myself an omelet, then making the kid an omelet. Everybody now can eat a hot meal yeah. together by the because way, you have the ability. You, should we show them the cleanup? Yes. You want me to do it? Go ahead and take I'm it. I'm here to help you. You know that. So these grill griddle plates are dishwasher safe. Look at this. Okay. 
But awesome. they are such a great non-stick that they just simply wipe clean. So, I mean, it's beautiful. All right, so you ready? This is what we're gonna do. Now at home, you would wait for this. Are you this making to, eggs or yeah. no? What are you doing next? No, we're gonna do bacon. Oh, are you doing bacon on the grill? I'm gonna do bacon on the you grill. You can do bacon on either, I guess, if you wanna do. This gives you an idea of the size of the element. See how it snakes through the entire thing right here? Here's your temperature control right there. Do you see that pin that goes out? That's what gives you accurate temperature control. But this goes through the entire base of the grates, which allows for even, even heat distribution. Even heat distribution. Yeah. By the way, aluminum here, which is a great conductor of heat. So you One don't get the hot spots, right? right? I'm gonna pop this LED display, and I'm just gonna go all the way up to 460 degrees. It goes all the way down to 180, so you could even use this like as a buffet yeah. warmer. Warming. But this is how simple it is to change out your plates. You simply remove one, throw it in the dishwasher, and add the second. Now here's the cool part. I have a whole package of bacon. And normally on a that frying is pan. Cool. I, I would be it wouldn't be cool if you had a half package of bacon. Well here's so. the thing. With a frying pan, you only can do a half a package of bacon. Extra thick bacon. And then yeah. you can make another half a package of yeah, bacon. Yum, but yum, the yum. truth of the matter is, because we have the ability to and we can, let's do a whole package of bacon. Now where's all that grease gonna go? So it's gonna drip through, right? And there's a drip tray underneath, and then it goes into the water reservoir. So you don't have all that messy cleanup of the fat. And that's what stops the smoke, that's what stops from, the smoke. from being as bad as yep. well, because when you when hot oil goes into water. Yep. It lowers its temperature yep. and it lowers that sort of the smoking point that you deal with. Exactly. I love this because you could actually do a probably close to an entire pound of bacon on yeah. here if you wanted all to. All together, all at the same time. And by the way, this is a really good idea. Uh, and I always tell people this. If you want to, if you really love bacon, the thicker cut bacon is a lot easier to cook. It cooks more evenly um, and it's much more substantial. I always think it's like, just go for it. If you're going to eat bacon, it's like, you might as well eat the thicker but cut. But I think it cooks better as well. Yeah. So we put all that bacon inside there. We have breakfast made and all yep. we've done is switch out the plates. That's all we well, did. And the truth and is, you, you, you could have done your bacon on the griddle plate. I like how you're doing I it But I like here. doing it on the grill plate, and here's why. All that fat I don't want to eat. It will drip through my grill plate into the water, right. and now I'm eating a healthier bacon, which I think is nice, because bacon, quite frankly, we all know isn't exactly a health food. It's, you know, there's, worse, you there's worse things there's, you can well, eat Well, that's true. That, that, that's very true. That's right. But when you eliminate some of that fat, this becomes a healthier way bacon to cook. Bacon doesn't have any carbs. That's right. true, it's great for keto, for our friends on the keto I'm diet. I'm just saying. He's saying. And what's so special, I think, about Kitchen HQ is it's high quality, right? Look how fast it's heating up. It's heating up, you can already see some of the smoke coming up. If I didn't want that odor, guess what I would do? Just put that fan into action and you're not gonna have the odor in your home. The, I would leave the fan off until the kids wake up when they smell the bacon, then you can turn the fan on. It's like the coffee, right? Yeah, mm, it's so nice. Delicious. Well, but, but like we said before, you don't want the whole house to smell like bacon for two days. And anybody that's uh, you know burnt something in their house knows it stays and you just can't get rid of that scent. Well, yeah, you wanna eat it on Sunday yeah. morning, you don't wanna smell it right. Sunday afternoon or Sunday and, and evening. And by the way, if you wanna take this outside on a sunny day. You can take it anywhere. And plug it in, because it just uses a regular plug. You could take it outside and you could cook burgers out. You could still use it as an outdoor grill if your if your family wants to be outside. You can take this anywhere. I love anywhere. the versatility. Yeah, of that. I mean, lots of folks use this in their RVs, in sure. their vacation homes, in their cottages, camping, wherever there's an electric outlet. You now have your grill yeah. without the messy charcoal, without the big propane totally. tanks, which are a pain in the neck. Let me take this apart and just show you everything that's coming to you. Remember, Kitchen is exclusive to HSN, so it's very high quality. That's really all we'll go out with. Here's that grill plate that you're getting, and you can see they're easily interchangeable and then right here becomes that griddle plate. So there's your choice. You have the grill or the griddle depending on what you're cooking. When you pull those up, the guy had talked about how large that heating element is, and then there's that stainless steel uh, drip pan which is gonna collect all of the fat and oil and grease so that you're not ingesting it. This is the part I don't want you to throw in the dishwasher. I think that's probably pretty obvious. This one can go in the dishwasher, and then underneath, here's the magic. There's your water reservoir. That's what I want you to fill with a little bit of water. That's gonna pull the smoke in. Here's our superheated, what I call a smoke vacuum or our smoke extractor. That fan is gonna pull in the odors and pull in the smoke and it dissipates through that water reservoir. Isn't that great? I, I love it. I think the whole setup is so smart. And you know, I used to buy appliances uh, and stuff for, for the restaurants that I worked at. And I will tell you, I love the quality of this. I love how it's made. We're gonna give you some colors. If, if uh, color matters to you, I will tell you that black has always been the most popular. Uh, but uh, I'll work this way. This is called teal. So if you wanna get in the teal color, we have that. This is blue. Even though it looks a little bit purple on screen, I think we're calling that blue. It's kind of a 
it's kind of a blue purple. Uh, this is red, black in the front. Here's the two grates that come along with it. So you get um, you get the solid uh, gray, uh, griddle in the back and then you get, this is the grate for, for grilling on and you see it's perforated so that the grease can flow through. And then there's the solid one in the front right there. Try not to make a mess here and screw everything up. Uh, it comes with your uh, smokeless uh, grill instructions, everything you need to be able to utilize it. Um, right in front of me, this is called Plum. And this is definitely a more purple color. And then this is cool. This is a silver color right here in the front. So easy to clean, easy to use. Doesn't take up a lot of space. If you see, I'm gonna put my hands on in front of me. It's about the size of like a casserole, right? So, and, and by the way, you can cook anything in it. You know, we, we're limited by our kind of our time that we have here, but you could do stir fry on here. You could do, um, I mean, you could think about, uh, you could do a really delicate things like salmon, which, you know, flakes apart on the grill and is a pain to cook. Any kind of a fish you want to do on here, scallops, things like that. And you could do it with very low fat because the, the nonstick on this is amazing. You're yes. not going to have to add, you really don't have to add any oil if you don't want to. And I like the fact that you can, without flare-ups, add oil or some sort of flavors, you know, some sort of nice fats or whatever, but you don't have to because it's that high-quality nonstick. Bacon. Imagine any season, winter, spring, summer, fall, doing your burgers and your grilled corn. It yeah. could be, you know, snowing outside. It could be Look muggy. It could burgers. be hot. There could be mosquitoes happening. Whatever state, whatever season it is, I'm now doing my grilled grilling, my char grilling. Look at the char that you get. No messy charcoal, no pro propane. We love the flavor of it, but quite yeah. frankly, we've all been a little disillusioned with the quote unquote smokeless grills. Right. Because we don't feel like they work this one's going to change your mind. This this really will. And you saw them. Well, maybe we'll get a chance to do that live demo again. But I know that's one of the biggest issues. I had I had an Uncle George, uh, may he rest in peace, and an Aunt Jean, her as well. But I remember my uncle was a, was loved to fish. Yes. And he loved to hunt. Yes. But he would bring, you know, it was good for us because he'd bring the food to our house because my mom wouldn't complain about the smell. Okay. But his wife <laughs> would not let him cook fish in the house. It's true. He'd my bring mom fish won't. to our house. My mom will He'd not like, let my dad cook. make fish in the house. He wouldn't do it. Or bacon, no. she won't. And, and it's, it's a... By the way, this is Kat, our chef. You know, you guys all know Kat. I, I'm so sorry I didn't say hello to you yeah, before, okay. Kat. Because, uh, and Kat's our chef. She's helping us with all this stuff. But, but, but yeah, I, I mean, I can remember being a kid, and, you know, you, your parents would cook food, and the whole house would smell for a couple days. You all know that. And, as, you know, when you get older, too, and you just, you know, you, you, you maybe you got issues with breathing issues, whatever. You can't you have smoke get in the house. The smoke. But you shouldn't not be able to grill food. Right. And let me tell you something. My mom's in her 80s. She's not going outside with a dang bag of charcoal and lighting up a grill anymore. I'm in my 30s, and I'm not going outside with charcoal well, yeah, and lighting yeah. up a grill. No matter well, what the reasoning is, uh, yeah. well, many of us don't like that. Well, honey, it's cumbersome. And, and, you, know, you know, in your condition as well, you don't want to be breathing a lot of smoke oh, and all the rest true, of that stuff, right? right? I mean, there's so many reasons. That grilling is delicious, love but it. it's a pain in the neck. Well, it gives it's you, a lot of, a pain it gives in you the flavor neck. without calories, and we yes. all love that. Yeah. Problem is, there is some byproducts of grilling that we don't like, which is usually the mess. And all the, by the way, you want to see where the mess is? It's underneath. Underneath. Okay. Right? And you can clean all that out. No oh, worries. Yeah, There's a drain at the bottom. Oh, by the way, the drip pan dishwasher safe. Love that. So that's really nice. Yeah. And so I'm showing you actually where all the fat's going. It might not look very attractive, but guess what I'm not eating? All those oils and all that fat. Yeah. It's dripping down to the bottom. And then here's the great part about this. I'm going to show you something kind of fun. Guy just mentioned using it for things like shrimp or salmon, things that are nice and delicate. So I'm going to take away that heating element. That all element. comes right off, right? You put that right in. You give it a little, you know, use one of them scrub daddies on that that we had earlier. Or throw it in the dishwasher, That's quite what frankly. It, yeah. Yep. Uh, and, then, and then you're good to go because the burnt on mess, you know that can be sticky. Just use the scrub daddy. Now down here. All right, now here's where I'm going to go have some fun. Watch what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to pick it up with it. Ew, gross. <laughs> okay, thanks. Ew. That's gross, isn't it? I like having guy here. But that's mostly uh, water. You got a little bit of fat from the burgers. Yeah. But here's something cool you can do. Oh. I'm actually going to flavor down here my water You're so that so when I create smart, that Kelly. steam, right? So you can actually leave the fan off when you do this so sure. that you get this steam if wanna, circulating. If you want to perfume your fish. You can perfume your fish. This is, you can buy this in the grocery store. It's what we call liquid smoke. If you want a little bit of that smoky flavor, a couple of drips, a couple of drops. And so... So you can do anything you want with that water. So whether it's just a little white wine and garlic or whether it's a little lemon or dill, you can take whatever flavors you want. Thank you, my, you want me to do that? Well, thank you. Pop it back on there. That's the heating element. And now at home, you wouldn't take your grill apart hot. It's just in the interest of time today that we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna throw my grill plate back on. Okay. See, and I love how easy you're changing all this stuff yeah. out. 
Just remember, if you're using it and switching things out, make sure you know what's hot and what's not and use your towels yeah, when you need to. Yeah, most certainly at home you would just do this on a cold grill, of course, but I'm gonna do it here just to show you can flavor those waters. And then I'm gonna go all the way up. Look at that nice LED. So I love this because it's precise temperature control. Think about that. Think about your stovetop. You have absolutely no idea at what temperature you're grilling on your stovetop, right? Right. Is it 400? Is it 480? You got the high, medium, well, low button and that's it, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, and you don't know how to sear properly. If you exactly. don't know the temperature, you know, it is important, although, you know, uh, when you're grilling and sauteing, it's not as much of a science as it is when you're baking, but if you are searing food, you have to make sure the hot, the, the, the surface is hot um, so you can get that nice sear on the outside. You'll notice the one thing that's missing from all this is um, Miss Kelly is not throwing a lot of grease or fat on these plates. You don't plates. have to. You don't have to. You know, these will season over time. Uh, when you get them, they already have a nonstick built into them. Uh, and, and so don't even worry about it. If you want to use the spray herbs, you can do that. I love and, and by the way, herbs. those no are flare -ups. phenomenal. What this flavors just, are those coming? Well, I'm doing the garlic. I smell garlic. But they come in basil, cilantro. Oh there's a couple gosh. different three packs you can pick up. But I love that there's no flare-ups. You would never take any kind of an oil or a spritz or a spray to your outdoor charcoal grill. You'd get that whoo and you'd be all stepping back. Exactly. And you now can have what the char grill flavor. Yeah. And you spray this on your vegetables. You could even spray a little on the fish. But now because I flavored the water below, and I'm going to leave the fan in the off position just for a few minutes to show you, it's going to basically create a little bit of a convection experience experience, right? Because yeah. I have that lid. And when I pop that fan on, it's going to circulate all of that, you know, steamed, beautiful juice from the lemon, from the dill, oh, yeah. all around my vegetables and all around my salmon. All right. Um, I will tell you, this is our best value of the day. Today, we're doing it at $20 off. It's free shipping. Everything is free shipping today. It's a great day to be shopping with you uh, on this uh, Saturday morning. If you're just getting up with us, my name's Guy. Uh, $79.99, $20 on your credit card. Uh, you know, we're celebrating Customer Appreciation Month, so we're trying to do lots of fun things, like our free shipping all day today uh, is a great deal. Um, you know, you're getting to meet all the people. You got to meet Kat, and you get to see... <laughs> well, the girls just walked by, oh, Melissa and it. Becca just walked by. Uh, and we want you to kind of see what's going on and behind the scenes, make you more of a personal part of it. We haven't been doing that before, but I know us and, and our sister, uh, QVC, we've been doing it, kind of giving you some behind the scenes and introducing all these wonderfully mm -hmm. talented people here. Uh, but it is a great way to get to know us and get to learn to, to love us and trust yes. us and all the rest of that stuff. Look at the bacon! I gotta tell you, this was a whole package of bacon. You would never yet? do that in your fry pan. I think a couple of pieces are done here already. Okay. Depends on how do you like your bacon. Do you like it really crispy? Totally mm -hmm. up to you now, but remember... Are you gonna eat that piece? Yeah. Sorry. Remember, because we have that drip tray, all the fat, oil, and juice drips down to the bottom, Yum. so you're eating healthier. You also have that fan, which becomes sort oh of a gosh. smoke vacuum. Here shortly, I think we should walk back over and show that demonstration again for anybody that mm. maybe is just joining us and you're thinking oh smokeless grill tried them before didn't work out for me this one is different because this one has that turbo speed mm. fan I call it a smoke vacuum smoke extractor mm. whatever you want to call it you can get the most beautiful char grilled experience indoors and here's how it works you can see you have that beautiful LED digital com uh, computer basically mm -hmm. where you can decide what temperature do I want to cook at exactly exact temperature temperature do you want to cook at? I'm just taking a little bit of red wine. So we're going to show you the smoke that comes up. Since I can't drink it, I'm going to burn it. Right. <laughs> and you can see the smoke. Let me move over so you can see it on my apron. Here, let me do this. Watch. Actually, the fan was on. That's why you couldn't see it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, look at that. There you go. Ready? Uh, All right, now I'm going to go ahead and hit the fan. I'll put the fan on. Watch. It's like magic. It literally disappears. That is so Okay, I'm going to awesome. turn the fan off one more time. I just think this is so cool. Because honest to goodness, we've all tried grilling indoors, and it just hasn't worked out. When you hit that fan, all the smoke literally disappears. One more time, I'm going to turn it off. Get you know, a little bit of smoke going. Kelly, it's what, what I love go. about Ready? this, and then watch, we'll turn the fan on and... Gone. Disappears. Totally gone. What I love, honestly, about this, and, and coming from a, a restaurant background for years and years and years, you know, I worked in a restaurant... I appreciate having items like this. We would, re we, you know, as a restaurant, we rented a lot of appliances for weddings. I had a catering facility and upstairs in my restaurant for about 80 people. So I would rent, you know, we would do live stir fry and hibachi and stuff like that. Oh, and I would beautiful. rent machines. And you couldn't rent like a little portable griddle station for less than 150 or 200 bucks oh, for no. the day. Absolutely. And it was not nonstick. You had to season the pan, all that stuff. We're close to 2,000 of these already spoken for. It makes good sense. If you want to stop 
washing all the pots and pans and dealing with that. And obviously you're not gonna boil water in this. I mean, you can heat on this just because we've got pasta sauce or tomato soup here. You can still heat on it in a pot. Yep. But the idea of this is, is that when you need to cook and you need to saute or yep. stir fry or whatever it is, or do grilled cheese or bacon, you want a nice big surface that's sure. easy to access, and you have that with this. You got a lot of cooking surface, enough to do at least eight or 10 hamburgers, yep. enough to do at least five or six steaks, yep. seven or eight pieces of fish, obviously, depending on the size of the fish. You get to grill things, and you get to do it quickly. Yep. This heats up in a matter of and seconds. And you get to do it in the comfort of your own indoor space, whether you're, you have the heat on or like the air conditioner. Own, you're like your own, um, it's like your own diner. Yeah, it is your and own I diner. And I love having the griddle top. I mean, I like the grill, don't get oh, me wrong. I love having both options. You're going to use both. And by the way, let me give you a little tip. I know we showed you the burgers on the grill. Do your burgers on the griddle top and try oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's nice yeah. as well. Because if that's you've a ever great. had a really good burger in a diner or in a lot of restaurants, believe it or not, and you watch all the chefs, the, the getting a crust on a hamburger from a flat top yeah. is where the all best. the flavor comes from. It, and that's the thing well, that's why we love really, grilling. If you're using grass-fed beef or Kobe sure. or one of these things, you want to taste the meat. Yep. A lot of times charcoal will mask the flavor of that. So think about that the next time you're cooking. Have fun, experiment with it. What yeah. do you think, Chef Kat? Do you like right. do you like flat top burgers or you like barbecue grill burgers? Or do you? I do both. Either, I, I do the same. Depends on the weather. Okay. But, I, but you know, when you watch right. like the chefs, uh, you know, when you watch cooking channels, stuff like that, most guys, most of them don't have an indoor, you know, they don't have a big indoor grill. A lot of them will have a big giant grill. grill. Yeah, no, especially exactly. diners. Well, look so, at the grilled cheese. Oh look gosh. at that beautiful crust we're able to get talking about that griddle surface. You would not be able to get that in a traditional frying pan. At least you wouldn't be able to do two grilled cheeses. Plus, we've got our tomato soup, oh which I think this is really cool. And Suzanne brought up a great point at midnight. Yeah. She said, because you have precise temperature control in terms of on your cooking surface, this happens to be tomato soup, but maybe it's red sauce. Maybe you're making candies and you have to have it at exactly 380 degrees. You would never get exactly 380 degrees on your stovetop to sit and you would know. You can keep this, or maybe you're making yogurt, at exactly 380 degrees if you would like to because you have that precise temperature control. Yeah. Now think about using it as your stovetop. You can set any pan on this flat surface and now it becomes your cooking surface. Yeah, there's a burner underneath, so it works just like the burner in yep. your house. In fact, look, you can see how piping hot that soup is. And we, we just left that right on the burner. Leave it right on the along burner. Along with the grilled cheese. Yep. It's so much more convenient. By the time you even break out a saute pan or a fry pan, this thing is already hot. Yep. And it sits, it sits up on your counter. You can tuck it away into a cabinet if you want to. If it's me, I would never put this away. I don't I want to put it away it. either. You can literally use it every day to cook. It is attractive. That's what Kitchen HQ does best. It looks nice, but it functions even better. And I always say, think about it like this. Maybe you think about it and you're going, I'm getting an indoor grill. Love that feature. For $80, the infomercial price on this alone is well over $100. Oh, yeah. And you only get the grill plate. What's well, the lowest price smokeless grill I think we've ever done. Totally. Easily. And this is true smokeless. We'll show you that demonstration again. But then you add that smokeless technology and the fact that I can cook Brussels sprouts all day long without the odors. I can cook bacon every day, all day without the odors and more importantly, without the splatter. I mean, most grills, any kind of skittle, you know, skillet does not have that clear glass lid, let alone the cool feature of the lid, which it has a silicone liner, but it stands up on its own, which I think is just a nice feature that Kitchen HQ has done for us. And then I can walk away. I can turn my fan on and feel comfortable walking away, enjoying my guests, making my coffee as my breakfast cooks, whatever it is you wanna do, you can walk away from this machine because it's pulling the smoke out of the air and it's not splattering because you have that lid. And now we're grilling some avocados. Isn't that going to be amazing? We're going to make keto tacos. I'm giving them a turn. Give them a little twist. There you go. All right. And I love it. And by the way, if you've never had grilled avocado. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Yeah, it's kind of this well, it's most it's just like the grilled bananas I did. You know what grilled avocado is? It's sexy. Is it sexy? Yeah, because oh. it's all hot. And Learn something new like, every day. It's gooey and it's yummy. It's okay. really, yeah, it's really, it's a it's completely very different delicious. thing. But it's really, really good. It's really so good. So if you love... Yeah, you all know what I'm talking about. It's freaking awesome. It's really good. Um, so we're, we're going to show you... everything, though. I mean, this is how fun with it. We did grilled bananas uh, previously. There's the smoke ready for the... Come on, there's the smoke. Ready for the magic. The magic happens with the push of a button. The button says fan. Watch this. Gone. Those are odors. That's the air quality in my home. 
completely being removed. I love that feature. It's a great grill. It's a great indoor grill, but it's an even better smokeless grill. Do you know what I mean? You're getting this. It becomes more of a need at your yeah. home than it becomes that want because you're thinking, well, how else would I have done my pancakes? How else would I have done my sunny side up <clears throat> fried eggs? How else yeah. would I have done my crispy crab cakes or my porterhouse or my ribs, my shrimp, whatever it is you want to do, bring this home, bring this into your home and you will absolutely love it. Great right. technology happening, you can see here. The smoke starts to flare Keep up. Keep talking, I'm eating bacon. <laughs> you hit that fan. There's that fan, I call it a smoke vacuum or a smoke extraction fan. Mm. It's basically pulling the odors and the smoke out of your home so that you don't have to smell it all day long. There's that unique design, the lid rest stands upright on its own. The grill and the griddle, both die-cast <laughs> aluminum, super high quality, great conductors of heat, and they're both dishwasher safe. All right, so we are getting extremely busy. As you can see, we're close to 2,000 already spoken for. Listen, I know you can grab a saute pan and you can cook a lot of things on the stove, right? But uh, let me give you an example of something that's hard to cook. Uh, first of all, any kind of an egg over easy is really difficult to do in a pan um, because you have edges on the pan that make it hard to access. Try to do things like we're doing quesadillas here. A quesadilla is hard to do on anything but a flat top griddle. It really is hard griddle. to do, Yep. right? Because you gotta try to get under the thing and you go and flip it without the whole thing falling apart. If you look at the quesadillas that we have up here, we put the lid on, which by the way is fantastic because now you can melt cheese on your burgers and all that stuff. And you can see that we're getting even cooking. Look at how the cheese is already starting to melt. Isn't that beautiful? But the nice uh, feature about this is that I can actually get under it, right? And I can flip it. We burned that one a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> that was my fault. That's all right. We burned them both. <laughs> you, know, you know, it doesn't matter. Because we just, well, yeah, I mean, obviously you're going to burn things at home. But we haven't, we haven't had 400. But guess what? Pop that fan on, hey. okay? And you won't have the burnt smell. Hey, no. <laughs> my producer, Rob, is funny. He said, yeah, but you know what? It's evenly burned. Yes, there that you means go. that that temperature goes all the way around. We just we just had it on too high. Don't worry about that. You know what? You know what the trick is when you serve it? Serve that side down. <laughs> Especially like, with the kids, like, they'll never know. Smoky flavor. I've got to tell you a story. When we were rehearsing for this show, we all sat there and we had something sitting on the burner and we forgot it was on the burner. And when we flipped it over, we were like, "Why didn't anybody notice that we were burning?" It was, I think, a grilled cheese or something. Right. Because we were all just chit chatting and talking. It happens. It was because the fan was on. We were standing literally literally over the grilled cheese and none of us knew that it was burning because uh, that fan was pulling knows. the burn odor out of the air. Look at the oil. I have some sesame oil for flavor in here. Just for flavor, you don't have to have it. Guess what? No flare-ups. So I can use anything I want because I don't get the flare-ups. This is not an open flame. It's no. a safer, healthier way to cook. All right, I want you to come back to mine. This is where I just burned something uh, and I wanted you to show you that even though we burn cheese on here, they're getting there. Prince is coming. So watch, so even though I've just burned cheese on the top of this, I want you to see that there's burnt cheese all over. White's clean. Watch this, okay, there it is. It's in the it's in the, the thing now. And by the way, this is the quesadilla that I just kind of burnt, but you I will tell you. You don't have to tell them. You can't know yet. They're not gonna know, dude, you know why? <laughs> because I flipped it upside down and I'll tell you, that's a delicious quesadilla. Yep, on that Look, flat the cheese is all melty. Griddle. Yep. I need it, I don't even care if it's a little brunt. All right, I'm gonna pour a little bit of more wine just to show you. Maybe you're just joining us. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, look at the look at the, mm. the, the smoke. Maybe you're accidentally burning a grilled cheese or maybe, you know, all right, I'm gonna hit the fan. Ready? Bye-bye smoke, bye-bye odors, bye-bye everything that I don't want dissipating around my home. And you can even sort of see it pulling, there we go, love that shot. You can see it eliminating the smoke, eliminating the odors. So it's a new kind of grill that you're getting home today. You're getting it at a better price than any of the infomercials out there. By the way, ours is 1500 watts. Infomercial brand is about 1200 watts and you only get the grill plate and the technology. I mean, it's smokeless, it's flameless, which means no flare ups. You have that LED temperature adjustability, which means if I want 430 degrees, I am cooking at exactly 430 degrees. So, <laughs> guy is just eating in my, he's e he knows I'm talking so I can't no. eat, so he's eating a cheesy quesadilla. So I like this close to her, I mean, <laughs> Let me tell you why. Because cooking should be fun, right? It's fun. Yeah. Cooking yeah. should be, this is a lot of fun. And I'm telling you, whether you have your kids around you or you have your grandkids around you, this is a celebration way to cook. You, you know what I mean? I mean, a, a saute pan in front of your stove, you're basically turning your back to everybody and you're just sitting there by yourself. When you have this out, 
Everybody comes over there like, what are you cooking? Yep. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You're yeah, stir frying. Yeah, they're going to love it. Look at these avocados that we just did. you now, got to try the grilled you, avocado, which I've just learned yeah. from Guy are sexy. They're very sexy. They're very and, sexy. And, uh, and according to Kelly, and I know this, they're very good for you, oh, right? It's the healthiest fat that you can eat, right? So it has a lot of minerals, is a lot this, of essential. What I just stubbed in my mouth, is that healthy? What, it's are you tomato. Doing, are you, you know I get to eat after this show, right? He's like, I get to eat and you don't. I I'm eat eating after this show. But I gotta tell you, on that grill plate, look at the grill marks. No charcoal required, no messy charcoal, no propane That's tanks. That's so good. And then we actually took, and this is a recipe that um, comes included. So this is a like a breadless taco? Yeah, so this is a keto taco. You can take your beef crumbles. These happen to be like a vegetarian version of the beef crumble. But this could be turkey, sausage, it could be whatever you want. And make these little keto tacos. Okay, I know we're wrapping, but we gotta go down to our chicken breast. You know what's fun though? Like, and I'll be honest with you, where'd Kat go? She's behind me. Stay, don't run away yet, Kat. I'm running. Like, the three of us are having a great time yeah. using them, right? I mean, you know, and, and now Kat, you know, she's a professional chef. She's been with us for years and years and wonderful. All her food is fantastic too. But she can, she cooks in a variety of ways. But when you cook like this, it's fun to cook like right, this. Right, right. Right? I mean, you can involve people. You can teach your kids. You can be like, look, it, come on over. We're doing stir fry. Yep. Or we're doing sh we're doing shrimp and rice. And we're doing, and you can cook healthy because of the But you're doing it inside. I am yeah. an outdoors girl. I love yeah. to hike, but wanna, I do not like cooking outside. Let me tell you something. I lived in Arizona and Florida. You want to go outside in Arizona when it's 106 and light a barbecue? No. Are you crazy? You want to be in Florida <laughs> when it's 98 and 130% humidity? I don't no. know if that makes sense. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> you don't want to be out there. You want to be inside where it's nice and cool and you can keep, you can bring the heat in with yep. your cooker. Yeah. Anyway, you're lovely. Thank you so much. I'll save you a little so bit of food. So are you, Kat. But I'm going to go, uh, while you're on the camera, I'm going to be eating bites of things because you, you taunted you're me be, yeah, with this delicious grilled food. Well, I just want you to know I appreciate you both and all the staff that works here. You guys are all amazing. 